The Bolivian Defense Ministry has labeled the violent and armed takeover of three military units in El Chapare as a grave crime against democracy. This region, located in the heart of the country, is now entering its 22nd day of road blockade. It's predominantly controlled by coca leaf farmers, aligned with former President Evo Morales. Bolivia's government said that they have encircled barracks, housing over 200 individuals, including military personnel, support staff, and also families. Independent reports confirm that these barracks are surrounded by hundreds of coca growers. Sources close to Morales describe the situation as a peaceful vigil. However, Bolivian government officials have classified the siege as a criminal act. Tensions are escalating in Bolivia, where the ongoing blockade has resulted in losses exceeding $2 billion. The root of the conflict lies within the governing party, the movement towards socialism, as a power struggle unfolds between current president Luis Arce and former president Evo Morales. Morales is currently facing serious allegations of rape and human trafficking in both Bolivia and Argentina. He is right now in a hunger strike just a few kilometers away from the CIS barracks. Meanwhile, government ministers have pledged to continue operations aimed at lifting the blockades that have paralyzed the country in 16 key points. Monica Machikao, CGTN, La Paz, Bolivia.